Monkey 1000 and today I, I was watching uh, a video and it was about making candles. I've never made candles I've always wanted to do it. So what I'm going to do is I used to sell candles with candlelight and I think I've mentioned it before. So when you start selling them, you have to buy their kit. And of course they have little candles. They have all kinds of stuff, candle lights, like, like these little ones, sample ones that you can give out and you can put them in their little container. This was one of them that I use. I use this at home. And then you can put your candle in it like that. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to <clears throat> melt these candles. Now these are brown so I hope I got enough um, and I don't use brown much anyways. So I'm going to melt these down and I'm going to put it in this. Now I wanted a beer mug but I don't have a beer mug. This is going, this is basically what they used to use in the day. Um, I got these like 10 cents somewhere at a thrift store and um, the only reason I got them is because it has, I'm Canadian, so um, it has the emblem on there. Now I got five of these, so I'm going to use one of these and put a candle in it. But what I'm going to put, make it look like, I'm going to hopefully, hopefully make it look like beer. And I'm going to use white. I have white here. And I'm going to melt the white down and we're going to put it on the top. Make it kind of look frothy, kind of, the best we can. Anyways, that's my idea. So, and then I'm going to try this one. This is old. Um, this one came from a, res came from, um, uh, a restaurant, Church Street Station in Orlando. They have a big, huge place down there. So, um, this was my mother's, and I've been trying to sell it. I'm not going to. This thing is heavy, very heavy, too heavy. So, what I'm going to do is probably try to do a Sunday in this one, a strawberry Sunday. I have two candles here. Now this one, I'm going to melt this stuff down. And then I'm going to, what's left in this one, they're kind of close, kind of. And I'm going to melt the two of them together and mix them up. And then we'll put it in here and try to make a Sunday out of it. And then I got the white stuff that I'm going to and try to to make it look like it's got um, whipped cream on it. So we're going to try this. I've never done this before, so I'm a little nervous. And this one, I think I'm just going to. I got some blue here. Uh, let me see. I got some blue, so or purple. It's like a bluish purple. And these all have some kind of scent. This has scent in. They all have some scent. So I'm probably going to melt this down and put it in here and I just have another candle. So we're going to try this and see how well it works. Now she did it. It didn't turn out as well as she thought it would work from some videos that she watched. So um, I just thought I'd try. Yeah, I'm home today, so why not? So stay tuned. Um, first thing I've got, I got a big white candle. And I need the wick to put in here. So I'm going to cut the wick. I'm going to cut it up. I'll probably use that first for my white part. So, um, I, because i got to cut it open. So, well, I'm going to take over here and show you what I'm going to do. So, we're right here. Excuse my kitchen, as always. So, here we are. And... We're gonna, I'm just gonna cut this open, hopefully. That's my idea. Um, you know, you, I'm just using stuff that I have at home and trying to get it going. If you hear that sizzle, it's because I, I have a pot of water on the stove to get hot so we can get the melting going, so. Uh, this might not be so easy. Who knows? I don't want to cut myself either. So, let me see here. Alright, I'm going to cut this open and I'll be right back. 
Okay, everyone. Well, it wasn't so easy. I did get the wick out. Okay. Um, it took a while. The knife didn't really work. And I ended up using this. This worked for a little while, but my hand got tired. So, we used Shea Bear's um, soldering. What do you call that? Soldering gun? And we used it and got it hot and it kind of melted the wax. So I finally got it out. Yay. I even tried to put it over the water for a few minutes and it really didn't help any. So um, I'm going to clean this up because it is hot. I want to put that other wax in there. And then, oops, sorry. And um, we'll we'll start with the the brown one. I'm gonna melt those up. So ah, we're gonna go back to the table now. Hold on. I'll carry you over here. And now, okay. So as you see, you can see that I got the wick. And the thing is that, you know, if I had new wick, I would have used it, but I don't have any. I'm going to use it in here. Hopefully it's not going to be too, too tall. It might be. So I might have to float it up a little bit. I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to chop these up and take all these out and melt them. Got to take these little doodads out. See? Now that'll be good because I can use that for right there. That came out nice. And I might be able to do it again. I may need a longer one for the other one. I don't know. Let me see here if I can use this in here. It's a little tiny. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to chop these up and start melting them, okay? So. As soon as I get them going on the pot, I will show you on the pot how they're melting, okay? This one didn't come out. No. It's still in there. But the thing came off, but it didn't come out. Okay. So let's try this. Be right back. Okay. Now I got the water boiled. I used this. It's old. I, you know, just in case. You know, I don't get it off. I don't have a glass brown bowl. So I'm using this. I chopped up the brown. I got one more left, I think. And I'm just going to put it in here and let it melt. And hopefully it does what I want it to do. <laughs> we will see. So, I have one more here to cut. And... And then I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to stir it up to see how it melts. Ooh, did I get it out? No, I still didn't get, out, get this wick out here. Yeah. Okay, so hold on just a few minutes. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this. It is melting. It's taking its toll. I'm looking for a spoon I can use to rustle through it. Use an old spoon here. Okay, hopefully this will be enough for that. I mean, that's all I have for the brown, so hopefully we'll we'll see how well it works. And uh, we'll get this all melted and see. Hopefully this is going to work. This is the first time i ever done this. I've never done this before. Um, I think I made a candle kit once with my kids and those were the little snowmen that I had. I think I did a video on them at Christmas time. You know, we had a ball doing them. They were fun, but that's all I ever did. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to work. Hopefully this will just get nice and melty. So when this melts, I will turn you back on. Okay guys, I've got the wick. Whoop. The, the glass and then I got the wick this one's poor thing but that's all I have if you have new wick use it um, probably better to use a new one but we can't get out so we use what we got right so I've got it melted I'm gonna go get it and pour it in here okay. 
very, very hot. I have made quite a mess. <laughs> but what else have we got to do today, right? Alright. I just hope this is going to be enough. And I really don't think it's going to be. But nothing I can do. It does have a fragrance with it. So we do have some kind of fragrance. And I hope you're good. You can see. Wow. pouring more on the table than I am friggin anywhere else. That sucks. <gasps> Slipped out of my hand too. Uh, well, that sucks. Yeah. Because I probably would have had enough. That's okay. I'm going to turn this down so we can kind of see what we got going here. Uh, yeah, that makes me mad. Yep, that's okay. I'm kind of going to put this in here. And hopefully, i got to straighten it. Don't fall in there, not yet. <laughs> Let me find something here to hold on to it. Hold on. Oof, that sucker's hot. Alright, i got something here I can use. So we're going to bring this back here, trying to get this to work, and it's just not wanting to work the way I want it to work. So let me see oh, if I can use something here. Now what you want to do, you want to put this in there. And you want it to stand in the middle. So what they used were popsicle sticks, but I don't have any popsicle sticks. So I'm kind of, kind of trying to hold it and let it sit, just like so. Ah, maybe not. There. Maybe that'll work. So, use what you got. That's what I was trying to do. It did fill it up most of the way. I would have probably had a little bit more in there. That kind of sucks, but I don't think I have any more brown. Uh, no. I used up all the brown that I had. So, what we're going to do is kind of make it... Um, more frosty. I got wax all over my table here. At least I can peel it off. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I wasn't expecting it to um, to kind of frost the the um, thing. Ugh. Ouch. All right. So we'll cover that up right now. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, oh no. Uh, this is what you don't want to do. <laughs> uh, no. But I still have it on there, so that's a good thing. And I need to not play with it. Just leave it alone, right? When in doubt, leave alone. <laughs> And it's kind of got a throth on the bottom of it, like a, a beer wood kind of. Kind of looks like beer, don't it? And I'll put some white up on the top. But I wish I had some more brown. I'm going to look and see if I do, because if I had some more, I could get, you know come up some more. Because um, that candle's going to be way down in there, which isn't cool. Uh, let me see if I have some looking around here at the house, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, you kind of get the idea. Um, you know, I got to let that cool. I don't want to touch the wick anymore. So, we're going to try to do this one. I'm going to try to make a, a strawberry sundae. That's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to melt these, and hopefully these will work. Um... And we'll pour it in here and see how well that works. And then we'll put some white on top of it too. 
okay so I'm just gonna put these over the the water the boiling water and get these these melted so I can get them out I got I think I can use one of these wicks might be able to They're a little bit short um, I might be able to use one of these that's short too so we'll see what we can do um, hmm I wish I had some if I had some we'd just use brand new ones make our life a little easier wouldn't it but that's okay we can put that in there and we'll cover it up the best we can there we go they'll sit in there and we'll put it down further in there so then it will glisten maybe It'll work maybe okay all right let me get this melted and then we'll pour it in there and show you be right back okay so what I'm gonna do hopefully I'm gonna pour it from these jars that I'm melting and I'm just gonna pour it from there so hopefully I won't get it all over the table this time I'm letting this cool down and then hopefully I will try to do the other part the frosting part which has already done it to the glass when I poured it in there <laughs> so I may put some more in there just to have it look more frosty now um, so anyways um hold on let me get my other ones in here I got two here that are completely melting and it'll take me just a few minutes to get them out Well, that edge just ruined it. Yep, yeah, totally. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Ah, crap. Yep. Yeah. So. That's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What happened? <laughs> no, oh my god! It all went inside there. Oh, you can't put hot. You can't put wax in all water. No. Oh no. Well, I didn't pour it in. I accidentally tipped them over, trying to get them out because they were melted. You can't. You can't do that. Maybe you can. No, you I cannot. I just put the jars in there to melt right? the stuff. And you can't it. do that because this is what happens. <laughs> You know, that could explode on you. Nah. Yep. It just kind of... Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, you said you weren't. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, well, so sorry. So, it kind of just went the way I didn't want it to go. Ha! Ha! Let's get the hell out of here. And, <laughs> and there's, there's a result right there. It all went right into the water, which you don't want. You do not want that to happen. So, I can't use it. Um, so maybe we can try try the purple ones because this is all I have. Um, this is all I have left of the red. And it smells good too because it was cinnamon. And it smells real pretty. So now the house is going to smell pretty good. <laughs> that sucked. Yeah, see the water in there? Let me see. This is hot, so I'll show it. So it's not as easy as everyone says it is. Not for me anyway. See the water got in there. See it? And it mixed with it. So that's no good. That ain't going to work. I had one more I was going to put with it too. But I'm not going to even bother now. So we'll try the purple one. And I'll try to clean up the mess. And we'll try to see if we can get the purple one going. Maybe I'll make it a purple um, ice cream sundae instead of a strawberry one so stay tuned um i'm gonna clean up my mess and i'll be back okay guys all right i'm bound and determined to get this sucker right so now that i only got the purple left <laughs> because of what happened i'm just going to make a it be a blueberry sundae there you go so we're going to try it a little bit different this time so what i did I put the boiling water on as you can see here let me show you 
and instead of putting it in here and trying to pour it in and get it all over the table I've tried to, I decided to try this so I put it all in here I'm gonna let it all melt hopefully it melts in here if it doesn't then I'll pour it back in this here and I'll take this and pour it in there so all I have to do is dump it and not get it all over the table hopefully this will work this is my other solution here we will see stay tuned Okay guys, I've got it melted, so we're going to pour it in here and hope. Now what I did with the beer one, I, I didn't have no ice, so I put it in the fridge for a few minutes. I wanted to cool off. It was almost, it was cooling off anyways. I let it sit for a bit and then I put it in the fridge for a few minutes. So by the time I finish this one, I'll go check on it and bring it back out. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So you can see, there we go. I gotta tighten up the thing here. And so I got this, I got it, and I poured it in here. I put it in the pan, I ended up doing it that way, and then I poured it over the sink. Make sure you put the stopper in, because you don't want this down there. So now I'm gonna pour it in this nice, pretty cup. And I have plenty, plenty to put in there. So that's a good thing. So now I got a wick and I'm going to put my wick in here. Now remember, we only have what we have at home and that is it. So uh, this wick is a lot nicer, I think. So I'm going to stick this here. I'm going to clip this on because this these things worked pretty good with the other one. So uh, let me see. Do it from the top. There we go. And I'm going to use these like I did because I don't have any popsicle sticks. If you have popsicle sticks, then use the popsicle sticks much easier. Try to center it as much as you can. Whoops. And try to keep it straight. There we go. And I'm just going to let it sit. That's going to be pretty, I think. So we're going to let this sit for a few minutes and hopefully it will set. Now I have this one. Now I'm going to do another blue one I guess and we'll just put one of these in here and hopefully this will fill it up and we'll do a little one so we since we have some left over I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to put my wick in here Hopefully I'll stand. See how it stands. This one's easier because it it's standing up. So. And we'll just move it over and let it sit for a few minutes. And I'm going to go get the other one. Hold on just a moment. Um, the wick is staying in there pretty much now so I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute it's still warm on the bottom but not bad not bad at all it's it's setting so that's a good thing so what I'm gonna do now um, I'm gonna clean this out you see how hard it got already Wow isn't it that was quick it's already getting hard so I'm gonna clean this out <clears throat> I'm going to do the white one next. So I will show you how I'm going to do the white one and after I get this cleaned up. Be right back. Okay guys, so I kind of cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> so the next step was for the blueberry one, you have to put, um, you want to use the white. To kind of look like you're going to put a dab of ice cream on it. So what you do, you're going to use a shredder, a little cheese shredder here, and I'm going to shred all these big pieces, and you can watch me if you like for a few minutes. See if I can get you down here where you can see. There we go. 
you don't need my body in there. That's right. Okay, so we're going to try this and see if this is going to work. I'm going to shred it up and put it on my board here and just keep shredding it. And shred. So, and there we go. It's going to shred. Maybe. So, maybe the bigger pieces? I don't know. Let's see. It's going to take a while to do this. Alright. Well, they use this one that I, I know. So, we'll see how it works. Is it shredding? Yeah, it's shredding. It's just taking a little bit. So you just do... I probably don't need all of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really probably don't need all of it at all. So we'll just keep going and just let it shred. A few minutes. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to try to froth the glass that's kind of looking like a beer kind of drink. So, eh, I wish I would have had more brown because it really, I think it would have turned out a lot better if it, you know. So, I got some here, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to do some more here while I wait my water to boil and I will be back. Okay. Alrighty, I just wanted you to see the shredders and how I got it. Okay. So, I, you just use what you need, you know, that's all you need to do. So, what I'm going to use is my scooper. When I finish this off and it gets a little where it needs to be. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a minute. We're going to come over here and see what's going on in the stove. Here we are. Alright, so I got some in here. I'm trying to let it melt and see if that's going to melt it. Um, I just wanted to use this container instead of using other things. So this is going to hopefully frost the um, candle, the beer, if you want to call it the beer. Okay, so hopefully that's what it's going to do. It's going to do the frosting part of the beer. So it's going to take a few minutes. I had to turn the fan on, so you might have trouble hearing me. So I'm going to just sit and relax for a few minutes, wait for this to kind of get where it needs to be, and I will come back. Okay, guys. All right, I melted it, but I was going to do something else. But I'm what I'm going to try to do is take what I've melted, okay? So I'm going to bring you down so you can see a little bit more. Down we go. There we go. Okay. So, you see the glass is laying down on the side. What I want to do is frost this. I mean, I already kind of did with the other one. So, I'm kind of going to just take a little bit here. I've never done this. I'm just trying to see if it's going to work. Okay, guys? So, don't hate me if it doesn't work out. And... I'm going to twirl it, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I really don't want the wick to kind of fall inside it, um, you know, and I thought, well, if I take it a little bit at a time and kind of just roll it in there, kind of might frost it a little bit. I hope you can see this, you know. Ugh. Doorbell, doorbell. Shea Bear's at the door again. Okay, so kind of just putting it in there. I'm going to roll it some more. I wish I had some more brown because it really, I think this would have been cool if I had not spilled some of it and had more brown. Okay. So, I don't have any crayons, do we? Brown crayons. No. Yeah. So, kind of make it like a frost, kind of. That's what I'm trying to do. So, you know, it is what it is. 
So it's fun anyways. It gives you something to do, you know. And who knows, maybe you're better at it than I am. Maybe you have more luck than I do. If you got all the equipment that you should have for doing this kind of thing, then, you know, it might be a lot easier. And if you've never done it before, try it. What the heck, right? If it wouldn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's my motto. Screw. Whatever. You know? I mean, I thought it was a cute little idea. Something different. And I had all these candles. And, you know, I had more at one time. But, um... I've used them through the years. I mean, I I've been, I did this a long time ago. This um, party light stuff, so. Okay. And there you go. It's kind of frosty. <laughs> kind of. Uh. I think this wick is just too heavy. So it doesn't want, want to stand up like it should. Uh, my beer? Yeah, that's kind of like your beer. Huh? Yeah, that's kind of like your beer there. <laughs> it looked bad? No, it's fine. Uh, are you being nice? So, no. So... I mean, He's laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is just cut the rest of this off right here. So it will stand up. It's just too, too long for this. But kind of, this is kind of the idea of what I wanted. But, of course, you know, it doesn't always turn out the way you want it to be. Or what you think it's going to be, right? And, uh, there. It's already getting cooled off again so I don't want to put any more on there let me cut this wick down a little bit because it's just, it broke when I was trying to get it out so it's kind of um, not the way it should be uh, so uh, can't find no scissors somebody takes my scissors and I never see them again I don't know where they are at the moment so Maybe I can use this. Probably not. Yep. Okay. So, there we go. Kind of cleaning it up here. Sorry. So you can see it a little bit better in the inside. Now, you know, it is what it is. If I do this again, I probably will make sure I got some wick and stuff. And, um... You know, what I wanted to do is put it in a beer mug, and uh, that would have been cool. Yeah, but I don't have a beer mug, and I'm not running out to the store to go buy one, especially right now. So it kind of gives it a frost look. kind of looks like a, I don't know, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> so these two are kind of just sitting here. They're setting. It's doing very well. As you can tell, it's really, really well. So my next thing is, <laughs> that was kind of a good idea. Yeah, so my next thing is going to put ice cream on top of this one. So I've got to melt a little bit more and I'm going to try to make a scoop of ice cream and I'll be right back. Okay guys, what I did, I shredded that, that candle stuff. I shredded it up like I showed you and what I did is I melted it and I poured it in here. So what are you going to do? You're going to take a s ice cream scoop and you're going to take it out because now it's gotten a little harder. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to make a scoop of ice cream. Hopefully. So I'm going to take this. 
and see if I can make me a scoop of ice cream. So, it's already getting hard. Now, they use ice and they put it on top of ice for a few minutes, but um, I don't have any ice. So, and this stuff for this is just, um, <laughs> it cools off quickly and oh my god, I just have no problem with it really. I mean, you know, but there's my, my blue one. It looks pretty, don't it? That one turned out pretty good, I think. And um, I don't want to do is put it in here, scoop it up, make it a scoop of ice cream. So we're trying to trying to do that and make it as round as possible, but that ain't working out. <laughs> I've had difficulty today, so. But you guys get the idea, and. Um, you know, you could try it yourself. Maybe yours will turn out better than mine. Um, maybe you have different stuff at home that you can use. So you don't have to run to the store, you know. I don't want to go to the store unless I absolutely have to. And, uh, you know, uh, and I work so a couple times a week right now. So it's a little hot. So I wanted to try to get it to get together here before it gets too there we kind of got it all right so I don't know if you can see there you got it right there little scoop of ice cream not very big but it is a scoop and what you do you poke a hole in the middle so you can put it through the wick up here now this is still setting, so I'm not going to tip it over too much. I don't want it. it. looks too nice right now. So hopefully I can make a hole in it and put it through. And I'll put it through the wick here. Maybe. Maybe not. That it breaking. Okay, I just didn't go far enough. And you stick it through the hole, if I can. Huh. Nope, I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, let's see if we can do it a different way. It's just trying to form it like a scoop of ice cream here. But the thing is, I'm trying to get the hole. do it without breaking everything. Okay. And see if I can get it in there. Oh. Can't see it. So I don't want to... Well, problem is my wick is not long enough. So you need a longer wick, I think. So you could kind of put it on the side, maybe. So what you're supposed to do is be able to punch a hole through it, put it on the wick, and there you got a scoop of ice cream on the top of your sundae. So you could kind of just let it on the side there a little bit. There. There. See? Looks better in the picture. <laughs> and there. So... You need a bigger um, wick in there, so, you know, I need some long wick, um, you know, so, I was trying to form it a little bit better, so it looks more like a scoop of ice cream on the side, maybe, and you could kind of put it, I don't know, I'm not too happy with it. <laughs> No, not happy with that. So, hmm, let me see here. But it's trying to see if I can put a hole in it so I can put it on there. But the problem is my wick, you know, 
Oh, there it is. I got it. And kind of. And then you could probably pull it up a little bit. And there you go. There. There you go. Got to just play with it. Okay, it's still setting, you know, so might be a little. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have moved it. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's still setting inside, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to throw them in the fridge for a few minutes like I did the other one so it'll harden faster. And then I'll show you the end result of that. That's kind of cute. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Let's get a little closer here so you can see it. See? Scoop of ice cream in the middle. That's kind of cute. And this was an old cup my mom had. Sheesh. It was a souvenir that we had at the um, Church Street Station in Orlando. Um, we had a ball there. So it was many moons ago. It was for my 18th birthday when we went. And that's where the cup came from. I mean, here's what you ever got at home. I mean, I was trying to sell it, but you know, that thing is so heavy. Just really, really heavy. So, you know, put a candle in it. Why not? It's better than trying to, to sell it. And, you know, um, because sometimes it's just not going to sell. So, that's cute. That is really cute. Now, this one, what I did, I had some of the shreds from the candle and all I did was sprinkle it on top that's what I did with that one and this one well you know I frosted it and there you go you got a little frosting going on there not perfect no they're not perfect but they look really good I really like them I was gonna put this in the fridge but I don't think I need to yeah so there you go guys I think, can you see them all? All three of them together? There. I'll back you up a little bit. There. That's much better. So, there you go, guys. That's my day of candles. <laughs> it was quite an adventure. What a mess. I would have liked to have had the strawberry one. Well, it was really cinnamon, and it smelled really good <laughs> when it poured everywhere. But that's okay. I mean, first time. You know, I mean, you can be creative, make all whatever you want to make you know there's all kinds of them out there going you know that you can do different ones and um, so I'll probably try it again I might get some candles um, in the Dollar Tree and use them for a dollar you know no biggie um, and try to do a strawberry one because I think that would have been cute too I'm not fond of blue because blue is not in my house um, but it, 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 I think it turned out pretty good considering. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for now. Monkey's out. Y'all have a great day and well, stay tuned. I got more coming up in my little head. So you never know what, what will pop up. So and Shea Bear is always laughing in the background. He, 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 he laughed. He was laughing at me. He's made candles before and and I didn't want him helping me because this was what I wanted to do. So he didn't. So he did his own little thing today. But I think they turned out pretty good. Not bad. So I'm out for now.